A gaping hole on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, the place where Evan Gershkovich's words should be. Today marks one year since his arrest on charges of espionage. He remains in prison in Moscow. And this week he was ordered to remain there for another three months, still awaiting trial. He is managing the best way he can. In a tiny space, one hour of uh, walking outside, six steps, six steps, six steps. Well, Polina Ivanova is a friend of Evan Gershkovich and a correspondent for the Financial Times covering Russia, Ukraine and the Caucasus. I spoke to her earlier and began by asking if she's heard from Evan recently and how he is. So we exchanged letters, handwritten letters by post um, to Moscow. Um, and he's doing OK. He's, he's considering the circumstances. He's doing remarkably well. He's very resilient. He's a very strong guy. Um, you know, he's staying very much himself, staying funny and, um, yeah, strong through this process. I mean, what is his avenue for hope? You know, on, on what basis can he fight for his freedom? Our source of hope is that we know that everybody um, is fighting for his release. Um, everybody's committed to this. We had a great statement from uh, President Biden today uh, just showing his commitment to this, showing his commitment to Evan and, and to his release. And we're just very... Um, we're hopeful that, that Evan will be home soon, back with his friends, back with his family, and most importantly, back at work. And tell me a little bit about him. You know, what's he like as a person? What's he like as a journalist? Evan's a super committed journalist. Um, he started covering Russia five, six years ago um, and always wrote about the country with nuance and, and with, you know, great insight. He's a, he's a real expert on, on the region, a real expert on the country and, and just a fantastic journalist. And as a person, he's fun-loving, um, warm and very kind guy um, who always supports his friends. He's always there for you. Everybody relies on him, to be honest, in our friendship group. So it's, uh, it's difficult to not have him there. Why do you think he was picked up? It's hard to say. That's uh, trying to get into the mind of, of um, you know, trying to get into inside the mind of, of whoever made this decision. It's, um, you just never know. The, what we know is that he's a journalist. All the accusations against him that are being issued by the Russian side are, are, are nonsensical. He's um, a fantastic journalist on Russia and an accredited one. He was working within accreditation and was, you know, picked up and ripped out of his work and... and now has spent 365 days behind bars. And do you think um, the US government are doing everything they can? Absolutely. And we're really, um, we're just hopeful that Evan can be back home soon.